Hello guys, welcome back. As promised yesterday, I'm out with another video today. I gotta come up with an intro because I, I always just say the same thing multiple times and it gets awkward. I'm like, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. I am so excited to do this video. I've been waiting to do this video for so long. This is my room tour. In a second, I'm gonna show you around my room, but for now, let's get back to some sick B-roll. Whoa, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? Okay, so now I'm actually gonna show you around my room instead of just crazy jumping whoosh, 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 around. So basically there's three main components of this room. There's the cabinet, there's the bed, and there's the desk. So this here is the cabinet. This thing's pretty amazing because it fits so much stuff. Basically here I have my cleaning supplies, here I have my uh, hydration tools, <laughs> here I have my dehydration tools, also known as towels. Uh, here are my dishes that I keep. This is a hot chocolate water bottle and dish towel shelf. This is my food shelf. It's a little empty since I'm moving out soon. And then underneath that is the fridge, which is also pretty empty because I'm, I'm moving out soon. But I always try and keep some drinks. Next to that we have this little closet, which I have a four coat hanger on with sweaters, hats, and towels. This is where I store most of my clothes. So I got shoes, shirts, pants, shirt, shirts, hairbrush and anything you need to hang, and dirty laundry. Oh, and there's a mirror. Next to that shelf, we have this little tabletop, which I just have a kettle on and other random stuff, whatever I put there. Then I got some socks, some boxers, some belts and important paper, and pajamas. Okay, next to that, we have this little box, which I keep some of my camera gear in, my drone stuff. This is my camera bag. I got a tripod back there. So under my bed here, I have a lot of things. There's a bunch of boxes. That's where I keep my dishes. But you can see there's, there's a lot of stuff under there. <laughs> and then this is my bed. I gotta say, loving the queen size bed here at Queens. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, above my bed is where I have most of the artwork in my room. So next to the bed is the desk. This thing, I know it looks really messy, but it's because I have a lot of stuff on it. Basically the top shelf has a bit of storage and then it's kind of display stuff and is my printer with my with my drone on it. Then below that, I kind of have some like personal decorative things. And then I got textbooks, school supplies, extra computer, binders. Okay, under that we have this setup. So there's actually a lot of things going on here. So first of all, this is like my power hub. This thing's amazing. It has four USBs and eight different outlets and you can control all of them with the buttons. So a lot of my stuff runs off of that. Basically everything here except for my Wi-Fi. Behind my screen, I got a screwdriver kit, some scissors, tape. Okay, then this is one of my hard drive setups. It's three different hard drives connected through one USB hub, so I can just plug it in and have it all. Then I got a desk lamp, there's another hard drive. This is my portable speaker, Anchor. Would recommend, it's an amazing speaker. This is my beautiful uh, DB Power $20 Amazon keyboard, and my actually really nice uh, Razer mouse here. And then this is my LG monitor and my headset slash Yeti. All of this is run through under, through this little laptop here. It's not the most powerful guy, but it gets it done. And it's all running through an Elgato, so I can record it. That's my Wi-Fi, that's the plant you saw earlier. And this is my beautiful window, which has a building right there, but it lets in a decent amount of light, so that's fine. Okay, and then lastly, this is my bedside table, so it has a couple of drawers in it, which I use for random tech and a lot of wires. I have this awesome wooden clock that I got on Amazon. And this is my uh, charging hub for my phone. Okay, so that's it for my main room. So let's head into the bathroom. Here's the shower. It's not amazing, but it's it's actually pretty good. The water pressure is pretty high, which is great. And then this is the sink. It's a pretty okay sink. It's not super big, but it has enough space around it and you can store stuff in the mirrors. Okay, so there's a basic overview of my room. Now before I end this, I'd like to give five quick tips for anybody that's going to be moving into residence. These are kind of things that Either I got right at the beginning of the year or I got wrong. Okay, number one, hooks. Bringing a metal over the door set of hooks is extremely useful, but also you can get these really cheap plastic hooks that you just stick to the wall. You can get them on Dollarama and they're 
really, really helpful for hanging coats or bags or anything. Number two, a doormat. This is something that I messed up with. In the winter, there's gonna be a lot of salt on your campus, and that means it's gonna be in your boots. So when you come into your room, you're gonna end up staining your carpet with that salt. Number three, if you plan on having dishes, having a separate bin to store and wash your dishes in is extremely useful. While yes, there's a good kitchen sink in the common room, it's really big and it's really tough to wash your dishes in, so it's a lot easier to just have your own separate bin for it. Number four, bed risers. So first of all, they're nice for the obvious reason of if you like having a higher bed. By default, the beds here are pretty low to the ground. The second benefit of them is they create a lot of storage space underneath your bed, and I've used so much of that space. There is dozens of boxes underneath my bed that I would not be able to fit anywhere else in my room, so that was extremely useful to have those. And lastly, with number five, this one's a little bit different. One thing that people kind of discovered on my floor about halfway through the year is that you can actually move the furniture around quite a bit in here, and even though this setup is a pretty good setup, and it fits like the desk right next to the ethernet cable and the bed near the window, whatever, you can actually move a lot of this furniture around, and you can kind of actually create some better organized systems for it. Like for example, some people move their desk over here and had their bed like under the window, and that created a lot more space for like their desk chair to move around and stuff like that. So just keep in mind that you can totally move around a lot of furniture. Okay, so there's five quick tips for residents. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any other questions about residents, throw them down below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.